Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I recently picked up some products from e.l.f. that I had never tried before. e.l.f. is a drugstore brand that has extremely affordable makeup. They ha Their prices range from like $3 to I think the most expensive thing I bought from them is like $8 or $9. They seem to be decently usable products. Like they seem decent. Um, everything I've tried I've really liked so far. So I figured today I would sit down and do a full face of e.l.f. makeup. I typically don't use a lot of drugstore makeup on my channel. So I figured why not do a full face of e.l.f. makeup to kind of show off the products that I have from the brand and also to incorporate some more drugstore makeup into my channel. So that's basically what today's video is going to be about. Um, I'm just going to use all the products that I have and try and create a look that is cheap and affordable and hopefully cute. So without further ado, let's just get right into the e.l.f. video. When I sat down to film this video, I realized that I actually ran out of all of my e.l.f. foundation. I used the e.l.f matte foundation. I will leave a picture right up here so you guys can see it. Um, I think I've reviewed it before on my channel, but if not, I really enjoyed that foundation. I It's the first foundation I've actually finished the bottle because I liked it so much. And I unfortunately haven't been able to repurchase it yet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is this guy, which I just picked up. This is the e.l.f. lip exfoliator in uh, the flavor of brown sugar. And this was only $3.99. It comes in like this little e.l.f. lipstick tube. And then you twist it up and it's like this brown sugar lipstick scrub. So let's just try that out because I have really chopped lips. It's winter here in Canada. This is definitely really gritty. If you can tell when you use it, it kind of like gets more of the sugar out. That tastes really good. My lips feel exfoliated and moisturized. So now let's get into the face makeup. So I'm going to start with this is the e.l.f. prep and hydrate balm. I use this guy as a primer every single time I do my makeup. Um, I saw this on Nikki Tutorial's channel so I picked it up. Um, I believe you can only get it from the e.l.f. website but it's like this mint green kind of balm stick and you just rub it on your skin and it's a really nice primer so that is the primer so like I said I don't have a foundation unfortunately okay so I also don't have a concealer the next elf product I have this is their high or HD powder in sheer I just picked this guy up too but this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a white powder. It comes with a little puff inside. Which I don't really use. And then it has like a really cool sifter which you can like turn. And have the powder come out or you can lock it. Okay, yeah, so you can turn it so then you can actually pour some powder out. It's going to pop some on the lid here. You don't get a ton of powder in here but... $7.99 I think it was. So I'm just going to put this on my beauty blender and just set everywhere I just put concealer. Okay, so I think that that powder was pretty nice. Um, I think my skin looks nice and smooth and soft. Alright, so next I have these guys here. These four palettes. I have the two blush palettes. So there's light and dark and I'm going to then I have the bronzer and the illuminating palette. Let's go in with bronzing palette first. This is the e.l.f. bronzer palette in Bronzed Beauty. I think they have a couple of these, but this is the shade range that you kind of get. So I'm just going to take this kind of angled brush, and I've been using, like, this kind of cool toned one, and then mixing it with this light one, because the cool tone one's a little bit dark for my skin. And I will just kind of contour with those two shades. I actually really like that bronzer palette. I think you get some really nice shades in there. And 
they blend out really nicely on the skin. Okay, next let's go into the blush palettes. So I have the light one and the dark one. I picked up both of these because the shade ranges are really pretty. So this is the light palette. You get like some rosy pink ones and then this kind of peachy terracotta one in the corner. And this is the dark palette. So you get more like mauvey pinks and then a light peach. And this light peach is actually like my go-to blush. So I'm really glad that I bought the dark palette. Um, I feel like some of the dark ones are actually lighter than the light ones, which is kind of weird. But I do really like this light peach one here in the corner from the dark palette. Alrighty, so that's the blush palettes. Next, into the highlighters, which is probably my favorite product from e.l.f. Um, I think I talked about these on my channel before. These are their baked highlighters. I have the shade Pink Diamond and Moonlight Pearls. That's what they look like there. These are really hard baked highlighters, so you kind of have to dig off the first layer when you get it. But once you do, these are so pretty. And I mean, it's kind of a waste of a product, but these are like $4 maybe. So this here is Moonlight Pearls, and this is Pink Diamond, if you can see that kind of shimmer. Um, honestly, Moonlight Pearls is way more reflective and shimmery than the pink one. So I'm just gonna take my Morphe M510 brush, which I always use for highlighting, and just really swirl it around there because I want to get as much pigment as possible. I think if I wet my brush, obviously you're gonna get more pigment. So I'm just gonna take some of this setting spray, wet my brush, and now let's go in here. This is gonna get more product onto the brush and give you a way brighter glow. All right, so that is Moonlight Pearls. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, the only things I have, I did have the um, Mad For Matte Nudes palette, but I honestly just didn't like it, so I got rid of it. So I have these guys right here. These are the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty, um, they're the cushion shadows. So this one is Cool Mist. You have like these beautiful cool tone shades. And this is Island Breeze. So those are the two. And they're kind of squishy. It's like um, kind of similar to the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. So I typically go for warm tones, so I'm going to try out this guy. So I'm just going to take this kind of taupey brown color. And these are all shimmers, so it's going to be kind of weird, but I'm just going to apply this to the crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this darker brown here and just darken up the outer corner. Like you might be better off applying these with your fingers. But yeah, so now I'm just going to take this kind of cranberry shade and I'm just going to press it onto my lid. I'm just going to take some of the dark brown and press it onto the outer corner. Just because it's not very dark. So I'm just going to take that cranberry on the gay packing brush and just pack it under the eye. Okay, so now I have this kind of smoky cranberry moment. Next, I think I'm going to take this really, really pretty gold shade. And I really want to put that on the inner corner of my eye. So hopefully it'll pick up on this brush here. This is like pure yellow gold. It's so pretty. So now on the same brush, I'm just going to take some of this white. And just kind of pack it right in the very center or inner corner. I don't know if you can see that gold in here, but it is so pretty. Alright, so I think that's it for the eyeshadows. Next is mascara. So I have this new e.l.f. mascara. 
It's the Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara in Black. This was also $3.99. So it just comes as black tube. It's an elf on it. And it has a really kind of short, stubby brush. Let me just go apply this because I'm going to need to be close to my mirror and I will be right back. Okay, so my mascara is on. The brush is kind of tiny, so it's a kind of bit hard to use. But overall, I think it looks pretty decent. I think I like it on the bottom lashes more so than the top lashes. It just doesn't give me as much curl as I was hoping to get. But, I mean, for $4, I'm not going to complain. And second last thing I have is a lip stick. So this is really cute. I forget what this is called because I threw it the packaging. But it's like their double-ended, like, day and night lipstick. So it comes with, like, one side is the day side, the next side is the night side. So this is the day shade. Okay, so this is the day side of the lipstick. It's a really pretty kind of rosy pink shade. Right, and now for the night side. Okay, so this is applied terribly and it comes up a lot more red on the lip. But yeah, so this is the night shade in the Double Ended Elf Lipsticks. So last but not least, I have the Elf Makeup Mist and Set in the shade Clear. I think they have a matte one as well. So it comes in this little spray bottle. Let me just... Okay, it's a decent mist, so let me just spray my face and we will see. Ooh. I actually really like this mist because it's a heavy mist. So it's like you can actually tell that it's landing on your face. Whereas with this guy, it's like such a light mist. It's hard to really tell if your face is even getting any mist on it. But yeah, so let me just zoom you guys out and I will give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. So that is every single e.l.f. product that I own. And overall, I am super impressed with their products. I know I don't use a lot of drugstore makeup on my channel, but I'm going to try to because I really like the drugstore makeup I've tried. I did my Milani review, which I will leave up in the iCards for you guys to check out. I loved the Milani products. I love all of these e.l.f. products. So I'm like, why am I forking out all this money at Sephora for these high-end brands when the drugstore brands are actually like coming for big store, like big high-end brands. They're really good. That's basically all of the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review and this look that I came up with using only e.l.f. products or mostly e.l.f. products, I guess. I was missing a couple of things. But yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and I will try and do some more full face using only blank drugstore brand. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!